Hi guys, my name is Robbie Ferry and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I call bike flipping, where you buy a broken bike or you buy parts, you put them together and you sell it as a full bike to make a little bit more profit. At the minute we're in times of COVID, so any little bit of money is going to go a long way for me. So I thought I'd start to make a build. So when it comes to these builds, I break it down into three sections, group set, wheels, and frame. So as long as I can find some good deals, I can stockpile bits and just put what I think would match together the best as possible. So the first thing I ordered for this was a group set. So I'm on Facebook and uh, someone, boom, from a local cycling club, oh, I've got this Ultegra group set for sale. Is anyone interested? So I'm like, yeah, why not? And I got an amazing deal on it. So it's the 6800 Altegra. So the latest is the R8000. This is the 6800. If you don't know much about Shimano, it comes in tiers. Top tier Dura Race, then Altegra, 105, Sora, Claris, Tawny. Yeah, so six six tiers altogether. So this is not the, not the top, but the one just below, but still incredible group set. So I said to him, okay, how much do you want for it? And he said, uh, 100, 140 quid, 145 quid, about that. I go, okay, guys, there's just one one difference. I haven't got the crank, I haven't got the Altegra crank. I've only got a 105, but I'm happy to put that in. So I said, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Still, you know, very, very good deal for the money. Couldn't pass it up. So what do we got here? We have the bag and everything. Front derailleur, that looks actually in really good condition. I'm really happy with that. As you can see there, that's the Ultegra one. It is a beautiful bit of kit. We have the rear derailleur. So what I look for in this, when I get secondhand rear derailleurs, I look at the jockey wheels, how smooth they are. So you can tell it's been well looked after and you can tell there's a lot of life left in those jockey wheels. So I know that's going to be a good derailleur. Okay, da -da 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 -da. need to keep this organized. Uh, next we have the brake hood and left hand shifter. So the Altegras compared to the 105s are uh, very smooth shifting on these. You can hear how smooth they are. And one thing that I would recommend if you're building a bike, you could use your 105 group set, but you will get so much from getting Altegra shifters because they're just so nice and they're so smooth. So I'd really, really recommend those. Fantastic. So next, hopefully we get the other shifter there. Well, hey, here it is. You can see that it hasn't had any drops or anything like that. It's not scratched anywhere. It's been really well looked after this one, actually. I'm really, yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. So I know that's good. I know everything's working fine there, but we won't know until it's actually on the bike if that is a hundred percent, but on first inspection, it looks fantastic. Next, we have the brakes. So this wasn't from a disc bike. This was from a rim brake bike. Uh, you can see here, you know, you can tell if a bike's been ridden outside too much, normally with the brakes just being full of crap. But no, it looks like it's probably just been used on a summer, summer bike. Got the front and the back brake there. I like these Altegra brakes. They're really good. Same with the 105 ones. And uh, obviously Jura is fantastic. But yeah, they just work, they're smooth, the springs feel good. So I'm really, up to this point, I'm very happy with how things are going. Okay, next we have the cassette. So uh, he lives out in a place called Peter Brother Guy. Uh, it's really flat out one side of it. So you can tell it's quite a small cassette, which is good. I live in Norfolk, that would be good for me and it would be good to sell around here because it's gear, gears which actually reflects where the bike's being sold. So that's, I'm really happy with that. The cogs don't look too bad. If we look, you know, nice and closely, you can see the teeth look pretty good. So it hasn't had a crazy amount of use. One thing that I'm gonna get out as well while I'm here is the chain. So he's been using these together. So I'll probably put these same ones on again because then they'll kind of match up. If I was to put a brand new chain on, it might not match the cassette because it might be quite worn. So if they're worn together, I'll put them on together, but I'll check the chain, see how much life's left in it anyway. And if not, I might buy another one, but I'll do my best to conserve what I've got and not spend any more money on it. 
And last but not least, we have... Uh, the chain rings here. So he offered me a few different sides of chain rings. So I've got 5236, which is semi-compact, or I've got some compact, some 5034s. So I decided that I'll go for the smaller ones because obviously the cassette's quite racy. So to get the ratios evened out a bit and to appeal to more riders, I went for the compact chain rings there. Also here, we have the actual chain set itself. And you can see here, few signs of wear where something's gone there, but in, it looks in good condition. The threads look good here. So it means that it hasn't been cross threaded when someone's put pedals in the wrong way around. Other side here, yet again. Yeah, threads look really good. And you can see he's grease. So he's obviously knows what he's talking about. He's obviously looked after this pretty well. So I'm really happy with that. Same with the bolts there. The, you know, you've got to be really careful. They're not rounded off when you get them, but I'm really happy with the condition of this at the minute. So yeah, definitely. So we better start putting that all aside and wait for the next parts to turn up. Hopefully we've got a good one coming today. <laughs> 